A Brooklyn community advocate says what happened today to a group of asylum seekers at a shelter was dehumanizing. Some families tell CBS 2's Lisa Rosner they had to throw out things they need like high chairs for their children in order to move out with less than a day's notice. Wednesday around 11.30 a.m., asylum seekers holding newborns and moms with their toddlers loaded two school buses outside shelter apartments on Park Avenue in Bushwick. The city allegedly told each family they could only bring two bags to hotel rooms that they were each being moved to in the Bronx. As they prepared to go from having a kitchen to just a mini fridge, they left behind high chairs, baby bathtubs, and more, says Sylvia Rodriguez, who had been voluntarily helping some of the 16 families over the last year. Some of them were asked Asking if my husband and I could store some of their items, and it's things like winter coats and boots. They had tears in their eyes. I know the kids were preparing to go back to school. One asylum seeker told us off camera he was given two days' notice of the move, but several told Rodriguez they were only notified yesterday afternoon. Case managers hugged some of the families, but would not say why they were being moved to this best western in the Bronx off the Major Deegan. A Department of Social Services spokesperson said in part DSS must carefully manage our existing shelter capacity, even while bringing additional capacity online. At all times, the city and our not-for-profit provider partners work closely with our clients to make sure we are preserving stability as much as possible when transfers occur. City officials did address the situation broadly at an afternoon briefing. We really want these children to be able to be in a place where they can have a backyard, where they can have a big kitchen. When we have hotels today that have adults in them, we are transitioning those adults into our new sites. One asylum seeker told us off camera while his family did have to discard some personal belongings, they are still so grateful to be here and they will make this location work however they have to. These are human beings and we have to consider that, especially when there are children involved. In the high bridge section of the Bronx, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News.